kids content is absolutely terrifying. So the only thing I can think of when I see this is an animation on the, um, how do I say this without getting demonetized? Or in the coin, the coin place, <laughs> the coin place, uh, where, <laughs> like, I know, like, one a coin video of animated, um, adult entertainment. Yeah, yeah, I know one video of Minecraft shit that is, that has the female Minecraft character with round tits. <laughs> it's so cursed. It is so cursed. The orange tube. Yeah, the orange tube. It's so cursed. It is so freaking cursed. I don't know if this has anything to do with it. Probably not. Probably not, but that's the only thing I can think of when thinking about, like, cursed Minecraft animations. Wait, what is... What, what, dear YouTube manual reviewer. <laughs> nice. How do you even know about this? How do you not know about this? Here we go again. YouTube kids. Oh god. Yeah, Minecraft definitely ain't about that. Is among some of the most popular and profitable niches on the YouTube platform. Creeper? Oh man! <laughs> so we back in the mine. And has been ever since the game came out. It's what I and probably you, if you're watching this video, consumed in some capacity growing up. However, somewhere along I, the way, I things didn't really. changed and what once was a community filled with wholesome YouTubers, mostly, who made their content with good morals and intentions in mind, has now been almost completely overrun. <laughs> Holy god! By selfish this vultures moon? who no. abuse this niche daily, spitting out low effort, mind numbing slop content that constantly. Holy, this is actually mind numbing slop content. What is. What is that? Sisters only? Clocks only? Sisters only? Adopted by 100 TV women and microwave sisters? Locked on one island with clock woman? Locked on one island with crazy simp? Simpy clock. Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? It exposes their viewers to all sorts of shocking, violent, and sexually suggestive imagery for oh God. clicks. All of this was covered in my previous video on the subject. However, what I didn't mention was that I left a lot of things out in that video. Oh Disgusting, Lord. harrowing things that probably would have gotten my channel completely demonetized. But after seeing the overwhelming support for my last video and the infinite amount of people commenting their personal, horrifying stories with this content, I oh feel God. obligated to get to the bottom of this rabbit hole. A oh rabbit God. hole worse than you and I could have ever oh no. imagined. Oh no, I'm scared, Chad. I'm scared. But first, allow me to introduce today's sponsor. By the way, kids, this is nothing my sister found Elsa gets punished for... Oh. It was a Minecraft animation where Elsa meets the Mexican... Opera GX. It's no secret Holy. that my videos, including this one, take hundreds of hours of editing to produce. And in order to keep me entertained while editing, I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos on my second monitor. Probably like how sure. you're watching this video right now. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no. I'm watching this on the stream. <laughs> I'm. I'm different. <laughs> Although you, chat, you might not be different. You might have me on the second monitor right now. <laughs> but I am different. <laughs> Don't think I don't see you. But for the longest time, I had a major problem in which my old browser was taking up so much RAM to show these videos, where it would often literally crash my computer. However, after oh. switching to Opera GX and using features such as GX Control, which allows you to limit how much RAM and CPU your tabs can uh, use, I've been able to edit for Opera hours GX. and watch my boy Sam Sulek in peace Just get more RAM, no lol. issues. Now I know what you're thinking. Caleb, Just get more RAM. I've already heard of Opera GX. Just download more RAM. Other amazing features, such as a built-in <laughs> VPN. 
VPN and ad blocker, and force dark mode that works on any page. But did you know that Opera GX now literally has infinite customization? This is thanks to their new feature, GX Mods, where in just a few simple Whoa. clicks, you can access and download Opera any of the thousands of pre-made mods that are available in their store, allowing you to change things like your wallpaper, background music, and keyboard and browser sounds to a theme that maybe represents your favorite game, <laughs> or have everything be a metal pipe. No! 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 <laughs> the choice is I hate yours, the it's as simple as clicking this mods tab here and searching the mod store for the one you prefer. My favorite recently has got to be this Minecraft, Minecraft. fireplace, which honestly brings such a cozy <gasps> vibe. Fox! Fox! You know what? Opari GX is goaded. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Fox! Goaded. Convinced. I'm convinced. Send me up. Perfect for accompanying my late night gaming or editing sessions. But probably the best part about GX mods is that you can mix and match them. Like I did here when I downloaded this lavender purple purchase mod to change all of my typing noises to sound like this. Which is just so satisfying. I hate it. No, I hate it. I hate I hate that. I hate that. I know Hexagon uses fucking typing noises on his GX. I know that. I hate it. I hate those typing noises. To me, they're so distracting. Like, I get so easily overstimulated from sounds like, nah, -uh, nah, -uh, no, no, no. I need my silence. Madame Ed, I <laughs> try to fast forward the stream. <laughs> He's lost! <laughs> it all day. And if that's not enough for you, Opera GX has so many more helpful features, like their own version of ChatGPT, built into the sidebar, so if you ever need help with some homework, research, or in my case, some inspiration for editing, this thing's got your back. Not to mention, all of your bookmarks and extensions can just port right over. So why not try it out today? Download Opera GX for completely free right now, and support the channel by going Whoa. to operagx.gg slash calebassalty2, or for simply free? click the link in the description. Thank you to them for sponsoring Remember, if the product is for free, you are the product. Hehe. <laughs> Sponsoring this video, and now it's time to go down the rabbit hole. Wait! My YouTube, like, the shit changed now too. It's pink at the bottom. Can you guys see that? It's pink here. Like, I know how some people said that that was happening, but it didn't before. No, it's pink here too. That's crazy. No, it's pink here too. I use normal opera, by the way, not GX. Tired of them shoving the VTuber down my phone. <laughs> Did you swap? Eh. I noticed that today. Yeah, it's just, just a day. But I've noticed how people were talking about that uh, for like one to two weeks now. Now I have it too. Alright guys, you ready to have the scariest night of our lives? Yeah, yeah, I am. Alrighty, let's figure out where to go first. Okay. The video you just watched is from a channel called Afmal. That looks cute. The video you just watched is from a channel That one looks cute. That's a cute avatar. But <laughs> let's go how bad this is. Called Afmal. Afmal Type is one awesome? of the many content Why? creators on this platform who makes Minecraft videos specifically catered towards a very young audience. Upon first glance, this content might seem pretty cringeworthy, and that's because it is. It I was is, originally yeah. gonna make this comparison to the Minecraft YouTubers I watched growing up, but honestly, especially compared to them, this content is very hard to watch. But despite this, there's still one reason all of these channels, old and new, have stuck to and continue to churn out family-friendly oriented Minecraft content, money. While yeah. you and I may never watch an AFMAL video in our lives, there is clearly a massive There's young a lot of kids that would, yeah. Not necessarily on YouTube, but rather its subsidiary app, YouTube Kids. In yeah, a census sure. done back in 2021, the United States government discovered that around 75% of households <laughs> with children under the age of five owned some sort of tablet for their kids. And in 20... Oh yeah, my sister bought uh, their... Uh, children on an iPad, which I don't think she lets them use it unsupervised, but they do have one. They do have one that they can use. But, uh, it's... They don't have, like, unlimited screen time, at least, you know? The Cocomelon Street. I don't... I don't even know if my sister plays Cocomelon to her children. I hope not. I hope not. 
But really, I only watch one VTuber, but not willingly either. You piece of shit. <laughs> You're a freaking piece of shit! In 2023, it was reported that YouTube Kids had over 600 million individual downloads, with that Jesus. number exponentially each year. Unfortunately, it's becoming increasingly common nowadays for newer parents to rely on apps like this as a way to keep their child This Elsa gate still exists? Like, is Elsa gate still out there, by the way? Are Elsa gate videos still made, and is it still readily available on YouTube Kids? Yes? Yeah, my kids are never getting uh, YouTube uh, kids then. My children are never getting YouTube kids, man. Phoenix, thanks for the follow. Never. Never. Any actual effort. Letting them sit and watch hours of content. Watch the video? Oh, right, all right, guys all right. It's a completely safe way for them to consume content. And the result? Channels like Afmau earning almost half a billion views in Holy. millions of dollars each month. Holy! Afnow is one of the better examples out of this whole niche. She does things by the books, and aside from it being a little cringy, their content is educational, suitable, and safe for kids. You know what? That's Afnow fun. School, on the other hand, is absolutely oh no. unacceptable. They. Oh no! Oh no! That's a flip side. Make Minecraft-related videos targeted towards children. However, the methods in which they gain their views are a little different. Instead of building a reliable and trustworthy brand that both parents and the young viewers who watch. Wait, but trust, like, is it the same people, or did they just steal the name? Well-known and trustworthy family-friendly content creator. Oh, so they're just stealing the name. Is that it? And uploading content that uses their original characters in yeah. all sorts okay. of sexually suggestive or straight up. Yeah. Chet, I told you! I told you round tits! I fucking told you! <laughs> I told you, cursed round tits! This is their original characters in all sorts of sexually suggestive. There's a pregnant one. Suggestive or straight up violent. Bruh! Saw? Violent way. Crazy doctor! for shock value in order to get more clicks. This manipulative strategy tricks the YouTube Penbow. algorithm into recommending them alongside videos of the real content creator they're impersonating, yeah. sometimes resulting in these fake videos gaining millions more views than the original. I mean, this Nine mil- Bro. Would you, would you guys say this is the modern happy tree, friends? Would you guys say this is the modern happy tree, friends? Not nearly as bad as the boyfriend girlfriend Fortnite RP gone sexual type of stuff. Oh my lord, I have no idea about that shit. No happy tree friends is entertaining. Not really. Yeah, which one? No happy tree friends were good. Nothing compares to happy tree friends. <laughs> kind of, but not as bad. So no happy tree friends was based. <laughs> At least happy tree friends is fun to watch. Have you guys ever seen a video of this? Have you guys ever seen a video of these? Hell no. Then how can you say that it's uh, not as good or bad as Happy Tree Friends, you know? How can you, like, say it's not as good or bad? In that case. Like, in that case, you can't judge if it is actually just the uh, modern Happy Tree Friends. I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> Keep watching. Okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough! I mean, this channel alone has Okay, I'll bite the bullet and watch. All right, thanks. Thanks for your sacrifice, Benny. ...has made roughly over $100,000 in just a short year and a half they've been posting content. They also have 118,000 subscribers, which is more than- Happy Tree Friends is better. Your sister used to watch it. Jesus Christ. ...me, so uh, please subscribe. <laughs> and of course, Athmail School is just one small example of the many perpetrators who make money fuck? this way. Pretty much every Minecraft kids YouTuber you can think of has one, if not multiple, of these garbage-filled impersonation channels made using their brand, all of which are individually made with this soul- Jesus, there's actually so- Bro! That's so scummy. That is so fucking scummy, man. Oh my god. The purpose of generating insane amounts of money, inadvertently exposing a plethora of disgusting and inappropriate themes in their content to millions of un- oh, yeah, the video still play ads? They- of course they do. ...children. Included, but not limited to... F ...following montage. 
contains thumbnails and footage from channels impersonating well-known Minecraft creators. These clips highlight appropriate themes used to attract young viewers. All content shown is directly taken from these monetized channels with any unsafe elements censored. Viewer discretion is advised. There you go. Take off the fufu. Take off the couch. Bro. Oh, bro. SA? What's the next one? Take off the fufu. Take off the couch. Take off the Oh take my god. Bro! How are these monetized? How are these monetized? But it's okay. I have a gun. We just tied you to the bed. Just don't shout and everything will be fine. We're going to the girl's house. We knock them out and then tie them to the bed. We take scissors and cut their clothes. What? The voice sounds so fake because it is. But like I said, I've already discussed this before in my previous video. However, what I was very stupid to neglect at the time was that long form video isn't the only form of media a person can consume on this platform. With the other oh no, obviously shorts. being YouTube oh shorts, no. to which I've come to learn. Bro, in YouTube shorts, like at the start of like using TikTok, I was like always scared that if I just scrolled randomly while there wasn't like an established algorithm yet for me, higher money, that one day i would just accidentally like scroll past something really like fucking cursed not safe for work shit and not as in like the adult content kind of shit but like literally like violent shit like oh my god i don't i, I don't know i don't know that's like my i don't know if that's an irrational fear but it's like one of my fears man not only has all of the same problems but for a myriad of reasons is actually so much worse that's By only youtube shots for me actually damn so i guess it isn't an irrational fear left in the youtube search bar we can find a plethora of different channels posting these quote-unquote minecraft animations in the shorts tab all with preview images that if left uncensored would probably get this video demonetized jesus christ okay to be fair I'm gonna just say, to be fair, you can't choose the thumbnail for YouTube Shorts. Those are auto-generated. But that just means, like, this shit is in the YouTube Short. Like, YouTube Short thumbnails are auto-generated. You can't change them. But that just means this is inside of it. This is inside, and like, all the with Shorts. Tens, sometimes Baby Noob draws a fake hole. 130 Remember million gremlins. views. If your kid grows up watching this stuff, the kid turns into a douche with broccoli hair wrecking his McLaren in the rain. <laughs> or becomes a John Somali. Or he goes to, to Korea and gets arrested there. Hundreds of millions of views each. The main difference between anything I've talked about in the past and these quote unquote Minecraft animation shorts. So far, I've most school video of Mo had many babies. Pregnant child in Minecraft and the is just f lol random slapstick and repetition humor as well as a lot of meme sound effects and generally just weird Jesus Christ. Sports is the way in which the content gets recommended to viewers. As mentioned previously, the most common strategy for these fake quote unquote family friendly channels to lure in new viewers is to create the most shocking and attention grabbing title and thumbnail they can, whether that be by using gruesome, violent, or sexually suggestive imagery Jesus in order to Christ. stand out in the viewer's recommendation feed in comparison to other <laughs> videos. This is why children shouldn't be on social media, man. Like, I know all of us were on social media as children. But in the end, like, now as we're, like, growing up and maturing, man, like, this is why children need to be protected, man. Because of f people f being fucking predatory like this, it's disgusting. Subsequently resulting in more clicks, more views, and more money. After all, that's the only reason they even exist in the first place. However, YouTube shorts work a little differently. Since YouTube limits their shorts to a maximum length of only 60 seconds. Not anymore. Now it's up to 30 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes. No, now it's up to two, uh, 
Three minutes. No, it's three minutes long. We can have shorts as long as three minutes now. As well as having no support for custom thumbnails, these channels instead lure the viewers in with the actual content of the video. And yeah, very quickly, it becomes apparent that these quote unquote animations are just straight softcore pornography using Jesus Minecraft Christ. to mask itself as family friendly content to bypass the YouTube. Like, this has been an issue forever, right? Like, how is YouTube not cracking down on this? How is... How is YouTube not cracking down on, on this garbage, man? Like, this literally has been going on for years. Money? I don't know, man. If they're just oblivious or if it's actually money. Like, if they actually don't care about children being harmed in that case. YouTube Kids algorithm to get, like I said, tens, sometimes hundreds of millions of views each. Not to mention the fact that these channels specifically abuse the system and take advantage of the way YouTube Shorts are set up. Everyone knows that YouTube Shorts has this sort here of Doom Scroll slash Infinite yep. Scroll interface, yep. where yep. instead of giving. By the way, I think Twitter is getting worse for this. Like, if you click on one Twitter video at the moment on your phone, it auto-scrolls. It auto-scrolls to the next video chat. I haven't seen auto-scroll on YouTube Shorts or on TikTok. It's only, so far, I've only seen auto-scroll on Twitter. And that's so much worse. Just wait until YouTube fucking implements auto-scrolling. Just wait. Just fucking wait. It's, doom scrolling is gonna get so much fucking worse because you don't even need to think anymore. Holy shit. Like, you already barely think at, uh, when watching fucking shorts, right? Facebook does the same, alright. Kids are gonna stop watching the video, I'm suffering. Man. Man. I don't mind if you click off if you don't like the video, that's fine. If we're just trying to get on doom scrolling too, don't you worry. <laughs> oh boy. Uh. YouTube has automatic skip to the next video with three seconds cooled on already. Uh, with shorts? On YouTube shorts though? Like, I know on normal videos, but I haven't seen it on shorts. Like, Evie, thanks for the follow. Good thing you block allows blocking any animal. Not yet. See, see, that's what I'm on about. Like, I know we have autoplay. I'm gonna be off. See you all. See you, Violet. The viewer, a bunch of random recommendations and then allowing them to specifically choose what kind of content they want to consume. The app practically just shoves a bunch of random videos in the viewer's face without a choice. And no matter how much they might not be interested, they will always watch at least a small portion of it before scrolling away. Channels like Eleven sure, Three yeah. know this, and that's why they made sure to put Minecraft characters that look like this in the very very first second of each video. It's not even like they're trying to hide it. This channel, Alex and Steve Animation, which has 5.3 million subscribers wow. and over 1.6 billion views, not only does the exact same thing, but they also have a direct link to a Patreon account that creates fully NSFW drawings and videos accessible by anybody with just one click. The craziest thing is, this isn't even the first time oh someone's spoken out about these issues. A handful of creators have already made similar videos, both calling out YouTube. One year ago, two months, one year, one year. Yeah, yeah. But it, like, it generally has to be because YouTube just doesn't care at this point. Like, which is really sad to see. It's so fucking sad to see, and it's also so fucking sad to see that there's no actual competitor to YouTube just because YouTube is as big as it is. Oh my lord, this, this, it's outrageous. It really is outrageous. On this massive problem, as well as encouraging their audience to mass report any bad channels they've mentioned. But every time, YouTube manually demonetizes and shadow bans the video and the algorithm. The ones that are calling it out? Yeah, no way, like, like 100%, like 100% at this point, they are just, like, like once chance, two times coincidence, at least three times? That's a pattern. This is a pattern. Like, at this point, no. 
specifically for showcasing clips of all the nasty things these channels upload. In fact, friend of the channel and fellow YouTuber the Mr. Epic uploaded two separate videos calling out these channels to YouTube Jesus. while taking the extra step to manually block my censoring original. Uncensored. Holy shit! You guys think this one is getting demonetized? Is his video demonetized? I can't check. I don't have ads. I don't have ads because I use uh, YouTube Premium. Chad, can you check if his videos are monetized or not at this point? Blur and censor anything that might be considered non-advertiser friendly. Yet still, despite his best efforts... Can you give the link? Yeah, yeah, of course. Here you go. Both Money, videos move it. could get demonetized. All the while, the original content that was being used in his video and all of the channels related to it are not only still active... Oh, you... Like, there's... Apparently, there is a, a plug-in that tells you if it's monetized or not we'll here. All of these videos we get are monetized. monetized. All the while, the original yeah, content that was being used Holy. in this video and all of the channels related to it are not only still catnap, catnap craft, active, but the continue fuck is to that? remain fully monetized as well. So basically, I'm just wondering what happened with those two videos that got demonetized. Can you kind of explain the situation around that? First one, which I uploaded last year, that one was demonetized after about, I think, two days. Jesus. Interestingly, what happened was, rather than the video just outright being, like, uh, stop being pushed or, and stop being showed, it actually, like, did this weird thing I haven't seen before, where it, like, intentionally blurred the thumbnail. I hadn't seen that uh -huh. I was like, oh, oh, well, that sucks. I've the never seen that I either. Uploaded, which was only a few months ago now, I was a lot more careful, like, I... Got an ad right away. Okay, so his video is still monetized. I went out of my Good. way to censor it even more. Interestingly, this time I actually got more information because uh, I had like a partner manager who I got around the time. And uh, he gave me an update saying that basically it was the thumbnail once again, despite me obviously censoring it more than the original thumbnails. But also this one two second clip of like, I don't even know what characters they are. They're like some weird like kids characters in like a somewhat provocative looking position from another mm -hmm. YouTube video, mind you. Yeah. And uh, that was basically it. And uh, this was after... A and I'm guessing the original one is monetized, but his one got demonetized. Got a pre-roll? All right. Human reviewer plus my partner manager pushing to get it um, unage restricted and, and they, nothing could change. So yeah. And at this point, you may be wondering why? Why would YouTube, despite obviously having the resources and ability to do so, still not take any action Money. to fix this glaring issue with YouTube Money. and YouTube kids, but at the same time actively silence anyone who decides to speak out and make a video about it? Well, we can't be certain, but my personal theory is that YouTube has been aware of it the whole time. This is a short visual break. To cleanse your eyeballs. <laughs> Oh boy, that just means it's gonna get worse, huh? That just means it's gonna get worse. I am the drink, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are watching. I mean, think about it. What? These channels generate billions of views and, by proxy, an unfathomable amount of money. This revenue is generated entirely from the money advertisers pay to have their ads displayed on these videos, mm. which honestly can be a problem in itself. I'm sure Apple would be just delighted to know that their ad is getting placed on a video. Yeah, at this point, you gotta contact the uh, sponsors, the advertisers. Like, that's what's happening on Twitch right now too. That's what's happening on Twitch right now too. People are directly contacting contacting the advertisers. Neurasted, thank you for the follow. But yeah, like I've seen someone um actually contact Kellogg's directly and let them know, yo, this is being displayed on Twitch. And they were like, oh shit, we're gonna um investigate on this. Thank you for letting us know. So yeah. Gotta actually directly go to the advertisers. Like, to stop this shit, if YouTube doesn't take this down, we gotta go through the advertisers. 100%. Yo, and where a popular children's character gets- Of course, Apple doesn't give a fuck. No, Apple does give a fuck. Apple wants to push out ads. And if this shit is there, and they realize that this is, they could get in trouble too. 
I also have ads on Twitch. Yeah, apparently, I don't fucking know. I don't have ads on Twitch. <laughs> I don't watch ads. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Buried alive. Like, what? YouTube what splits fuck? this ad revenue with the creator, giving 55% of the share to them and keeping 45% for themselves. Once you start to factor in the hundreds of other channels uploading the same inappropriate content that simply haven't been documented yet, most likely thousands if we Jesus. include the accounts outside of the Minecraft name. Oh my the lord! Same, if not even worse content. Oh with my other lord! What is going you can start on? To a picture of why YouTube theoretically might want to turn a blind eye. It makes up a small but notable chunk of their revenue each year in YouTube's eyes, throwing all morals, ethics, and damage this content is inflicting on the millions of children who use this platform every single day. Even worse than advertisers, it would leave more ammo for our already controlling governments to clamp down more on our privacy and autonomy. I'm not sure. Maybe. They need to get it under control before it's too late. That is... You know what? Yeah. They do need to get it under control before the government steps in. Because then... Then we're in trouble. <laughs> Who cares? Money's money. MONEY! Hey, getting rid of it means that YouTube would be passing up a significant amount of money. And we all know they would never do that. YouTube ads are getting worse, so YouTube is testing server-side ads on YouTube. Which means that instead of using an ad blocker on YouTube to bypass the annoying ad that you get, uh, you're gonna be forced to watch it. So instead, they decided to take the much easier route of ignoring the problem for as long as possible, knowing they have plausible deniability because they could just blame hey! their algorithm or something like that. Oh, we had no idea this was such a big problem. It's just an Let's issue with our it! algorithm. Let's ignore it! And quietly rake in massive amounts of money while simultaneously silencing individual individual creators who make videos attempting to expose and raise awareness about this issue because unfortunately we are a much smaller and easier target to deal with. Yeah, that's what coppers do. Like if they get caught with some shit, they claim ignorance, of course. That's how they get away with shit. Because they can, that's the issue. That's the fucking issue. Because they fucking can. If they back in the ads, people will make anti-ad tools for that as well. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. If my, if my videos, which are in, like more sensitive than the ones on mine, are getting flagged and the human reviewer is saying that, hey, this is not appropriate, we can't have this, and how then are, why like, is the original up? channels allowed to uh, exist, right? Literally, how is the original up? Like, YouTube is so fucking awful in that case. And like, this isn't only a case of like this Minecraft content. Rosie had had an issue. You guys know Rosie, Rosie Belmu, right? She's had an issue with uh, her recent um, Casual Geographics reaction video. Of his recent video, uh, I think it's about elephants, where, quote-unquote, uh, there was animal abuse portrayed, apparently, and it, like, removed the video from her channel. And she did get into contact from YouTube, and they said, Nope, we are right, you are wrong. Doesn't agree with our fucking terms and services, and Casual Geographics video is still up. Obviously, there wasn't actually any animal abuse showcased because obviously he wouldn't do that. But her video is down. At least she didn't get a strike, man. Like, it's ridiculous. YouTube doesn't enforce, like, properly. Like, they need to fix their human review system and either allow my they content really do. or they need to. Like, there is no human review. Oh. No, I would say that it is false. There definitely are some human reviewers, but most of us, it is based on machines, even though they say it's human reviewed. Because sometimes you, uh, sometimes you put in a fucking request f uh, for a demonetized video to be reviewed. It says, okay, it will be manually reviewed by a human. And then suddenly one second later, it either gets denied or it's, it's okay. Like most of it is machine. Human reviewers get told to ignore criminals. Bro, there's barely any human reviewers on it though. Most of it is, is based on machines. Block other content that I'm I've increasingly censored, right? Like it can't be this weird middle ground where somehow my videos are being censored yet the other ones are not. Collateral damage. Yeah, that's what it is in the end. In my previous video, I touched on the proven and lasting side effects that watching this content from such a young age can do to an individual in the long term. 
Multiple studies yep. have proven that children's ages 0 to 8, the primary target of both YouTube kids and these channels, are in the most formative years of their life. Everything they do, learn, and consume in these years play a huge part into shaping the type of person they'll be yep. for the rest of their lives. Yep. This is why traditional kids programming such as PBS Kids always ends with a positive, educational, and age-appropriate lesson being learned. It's because all shows on the network are specifically designed to support a child's development in these crucial years and promote healthy, positive behavior as seen in their official educational guidelines. She said she got some hate on an Eggman video just before. It might be a false report on the animal abuse. Other one she had was about copyright from the elephant footage and casuals original video. Sorry, there's too much censoring that I don't understand. There's too much censoring in there that I don't understand. Rosie got hate on the Eggman video just before that. It might be a false report on the animal. But I think to you that someone falsely reported it. Like, 100% someone falsely reported it. But the fact that people can abuse it, and the fact that she provided evidence that the original video is okay, and obviously the video is okay, the part what, which she did watch is okay, but that YouTube is saying that no, it's not, well, it actually is, is ridiculous. Ugh. Stupid. But you know what platform isn't properly regulated and is quickly becoming more popular than traditional programming? YouTube and YouTube Kids. Yeah. Studies show that children exposed to violent and suggestive Shit does need media to be at such a young age can develop lasting trauma and create serious damage to the development of the brain. Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what's reflected in the comments of my last video. Ever since I was nine, I've been exposed to sexual content on YouTube and ever- Since he was nine! Bro! Nine years old! Monopoly, am I right? Yeah! Yep, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. I just don't understand how YouTube is allowed to be such a fucking monopoly, man. I thought monopolies are against the fucking law. <laughs> like, I thought monopolies are against the law. Like, how the fuck? That is just parental failure at that point. I mean, let's be honest. Every fucking child has done fucking shit that they've gotten away with without their parents knowing. All of us have. In Europe, yes, but not everywhere. They are, but copper and government lobby for loopholes for big copper. Legitimate. Monopolies are ah, monopolies themselves technically not. I see. I see. Ever since then, my life has gotten a lot worse. I keep getting random headaches and can't focus on one thing for more than 60 minutes at a time. I've also had a lot of memory Jesus. losses due to this content and have sadly developed an Not me, but my friend Jesus. who watched these videos. He developed a severe addiction. It took him months to of course it did! When I was little, a bunch of these Minecraft and Elsagate videos popped up, and from then, for eight yeah, years, I, had, I am one who was exposed to this. This it's is an extremely big problem. I won't say how this, this don't really affect Oh my god. This is awful. Dude, messes with the mind. Bro, I used to watch this shit too, and it's given me horrible trauma and got me addicted to it. I just turned 18 a week ago, and YouTube back in 2016, 2017 messed me up in such a big way. I struggled with so much depression and being exposed to so much vile content ruined my perception on myself and how I act subconsciously. And I've lost a lot of my most important years and lessons where I should have been properly taught about that stuff when I was ready. In their official blog post from February 2021, YouTube announced that the YouTube Kids app had over 35 million weekly users. Since oh then, my God. the app has almost doubled its total number of downloads. So if we do a little bit of math here, accounting for both of these numbers and other things like trends and higher user engagement, this means yeah. that every day, the estimated 70 to 80 million users of this platform have a good chance of being exposed to these kinds of videos and then having to deal with their life-altering, long-lasting effects as a result. All. Yeah. Children should just not be on social media. YouTube kids shouldn't exist. I get the idea behind YouTube kids that it's, oh, it should be better than them just being on YouTube, but it's not regulated properly. Like, if it was regulated properly, sure. You know what? Sure. But it's not. That's the issue. On paper, looks okay. But in reality, it just isn't. 
it just is not good uh regulated properly and yeah 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 oh lord oh lord oh lord oh lord i think those videos are on regular youtube too no of course they are of course they are no they are yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but youtube kids on its own is still a massive issue Parents need to uh, to proofread and make a playlist for kids, which is the only thing they can access. I agree. I agree. I agree. Parents absolutely need to like put in some work for this. Like, parents really shouldn't just let their kid watch whatever. But again, on the other hand, kids will tr try to defy their parents. Kids are rebels. Of course kids are re rebels. The problem is that parenting doesn't exist these days. That's also true. Parenting does not exist at all. The iPad kids, am I right? iPad kids. At first glance, people might point the blame at the individuals running these disgusting channels. And while they are definitely at fault here, I believe they it's are. actually YouTube that should be held the most responsible. On any social media platform, there will always be malicious- Yeah, because YouTube allows them to exist. YouTube allows them to exist and probably also wants them in a sense to exist because money if i ever have kids i'm gonna do what my parents did and watch the telly with my kids and you know exist. i'm gonna put on fucking disney movies for my children man i'll put on fucking the oldest disney movies man like the originals just people looking to exploit the system for their own personal gain however as long as fucking the platform pokemon. is aware of this like first generation pokemon man prevent those exploits from happening so yeah, I was speaking over the video. There will always be malicious people looking to exploit yes. the system for their own personal yes. gain. However, as yep. long as the platform is aware of this and actively tries to fix and prevent those exploits from happening, then the situation can be managed effectively. However, YouTube hasn't exactly had the best track record of doing that. Negligence of- Oh my god! Oh my god, the old YouTube app icon! Oh my god! Jesus, that's so old! Bro, I haven't seen this in forever. Negligence of a billion dollar company, Jesus. In 2017, parents began to complain that strange videos were popping up on YouTube Kids. Good, finally. So every time I go on YouTube, there's these really strange videos showing up on my trending page. I mean, they seem to be aimed at young kids, but they're super creepy and disturbing. These videos almost always Here we go, Elsa what are otherwise household family friendly characters such as Spider-Man and Elsa doing a variety of blatantly inappropriate why is it called Elsa Gate? Are they themselves? Did they themselves call themselves like Elsa Gate? Is that their name or like what? That is on Apple or something? Yeah, 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 it was the original Apple one, I believe. Appropriate or disturbing things, but tagged in such a way as to circumvent YouTube's child safety algorithms and appear on the home gate, page like, of gate to hell. kids. This phenomenon would not go unnoticed, as more and more of these channels began to pop up, all with hundreds of millions of views each. The number of concerned parents complaining and demanding a fix from YouTube began to significantly increase, and eventually, this disturbing trend would catch the attention of major news outlets who would also mm -hmm. begin to raise their alarm bells via a bunch of extremely well-written articles. If you ever let your child watch YouTube videos- Good! Good! Let the fucking old news, like the old- uh, how do you call that? The old school news media? No, it had a certain name. Like, it had a certain name, but like, not old school legacy media? Old media? Yeah, like one of these, right? No, I don't think that's the one I'm thinking of. But yeah, mainstream. Yeah, mainstream media. Yeah, that mainstream media. That fucking mainstream media catch wind of this. Let it be on, PC, uh, on TV so all the, the boomers... A note about this. Let the boomers know. Yeah, let the boomers know. The boomers need to know about this. <laughs> the boomers do need to know about this. The boomers will fix it. Yeah, boomers rise up. The boomer media. Because <laughs> we have got a warning for you. Some people are creating disturbing cartoons, making them appear kid friendly, only to get your children to watch inappropriate content. That's right, consumer. All covering an event commonly referred to as Elsagate. Yet despite receiving mainstream attention, mass reports, and millions of individual complaints, YouTube did almost nothing to fix the situation. Until November 27th of that year, when in a BuzzFeed article- Oh shit, YouTube has deleted hundreds of thousands of this- GOOD! GOOD! They are quite down on it. announced they were cracking down on the problem, removing but over 150,000- Not enough. That's- that's nothing. There's so many more. 
turned off comments on... Uh, so what? So what if you turned off the comments? Remove that shit! What do you mean turned off the comments? These inappropriate videos and demonetizing over 2 million more. That doesn't help! Remove it! What do you mean demonetize? Remove it! Get it off of the platform! Please note that this announcement, while positive and overall a pretty big win for the platform, just so happened to occur only three days after a Lidl? bunch of major brands and advertisers had pulled out due to the entire... There it is! Advertisers! Put it in the mainstream media so advertisers know! Contact the advertisers! This is the only way you can crack down on YouTube! Take the money away from YouTube! Scandal. YouTube, years later, would also get fined $170 million by the FTC. Fine! Good! for having such a glaring issue with their quote-unquote kids' content and child safety rules. As a result of this, YouTube would also update their guidelines to ban any inappropriate use of quote family entertainment characters and also implement a brand new labeling system forcing creators oh, is that to decide why we had whether it? or not their videos are made for kids. If a video is determined to be made for kids, it will lose a majority of features Features that normal videos have, such as the comment section, and most importantly, personalized ads and a majority of ad revenue. But if that's the case, then how are these channels- Oh, it still is getting ads though. Like, I'm pretty sure like YouTube Kids Money is still making ads, but I guess it's just not personalized ads at this point anymore. But they're still making money. So that doesn't really fucking help at all. ...which are clearly targeted towards children still able to make so much money. And the answer yeah, literally. is as simple as it is aggravating. It's just because of the masses. Because it's so many people watching it, that's why. Non-personalized ads are insane. I once got an ad for a cult. What? No freaking way. To be honest, it really doesn't matter what option the creator chooses, as both types of content, even ones specifically marked as not for kids, actively get recommended through the YouTube Kids app. Yeah, they're as still there! The looks family friendly enough in the eyes of the algorithm by loading up the thumbnail with a bunch of bright colors and swapping out any potentially dangerous words like rape with prank or. Prank, by the way. Prank! It's just a prank, bro! Prank! With love curse, it will get recommended just the same. And there's a really easy way to prove this that you can do yourself. Just go to literally any of the channels I've mentioned so far, click on a random video, and take a look at the engagement on the actual video. For example, mm -hmm. this video has 213,000 views, yet only 1,100 likes and only 40 comments. This is because when mm -hmm. you watch a video on YouTube Kids, it doesn't have any of the extra buttons or features. It only there, there allows it you to watch the video. But since the video is still get Okay, it still gets recommended on YouTube kids then. From YouTube, it's still- Abducting my best friend prank. Wait, was that one of the titles? I didn't even see that. Jesus freaking Christ, man. And there are still ads. Pokey. Uh, uh, free online games. Uh, yeah. See, ads still there. Counts as a view. They still and make the money because they're still ads. Getting left on the video is from other kids using the regular YouTube app, probably using their parents' account. And yeah, it's pretty easy to tell by the scary monster. <gasps> Poor baby. No, no. <gasps> Poor baby. No. <laughs> No, bro, this breaks my heart. God, this actually breaks my heart. Like, it, it will be afraid of the dark, yeah. <sighs> Children need more protection, even if my children would hate me. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree, man. This is- oh my god, this actually makes me so sad. Oh my god. The quality of the comments here. Kind of funny how even though YouTube implemented these supposed changes to make the platform safer, it appears it's now easier than ever to run one of these content farms due to its simple editing style, low production costs, hell, even the recent developments in AI technology, specifically oh, yeah. voice lines and
Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we heard earlier, like, when you guys mentioned, like, uh, it sounds like a fake voice, that those were AI voices. Those were a AI voices. So, yeah, it's it's getting even easier for all these content forms to exist, man. My cousin is just at that age. Protect your cousin, man. Protect your cousin. Text to speech. It's no problem for a single person with no moral compass and enough free time to start operating a network of these channels, pumping out dozens of these videos a week, all while facing absolutely zero public repercussion or backlash and remaining completely anonymous. In other words, it's the perfect crime. Yeah. But yeah. let's take yeah. a step back for a moment and explore Aww. a rather outlandish question. Oh, what no. if the owner actually wants to be found? Huh? What? Why? Why would they? I'll let him cook. I'll let him cook. This is Neil. For the sake of anonymity, that's obviously not his real name. But All as right. you can probably guess by now, Neil makes YouTube a living button. by owning and operating one of these Minecraft kids' content. That's Greek letters. Okay. No, wait, that's not Greek, that's Russian, isn't it? Yeah, never mind, not Greek, sorry, my bad. This is, this is Russian letters, right? Like, at first glance, it looked like Greek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Cyrillic. Yeah, 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 Cyrillic, it's Cyrillic. Yeah, sorry, I, 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 I glanced over it, my bad. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten farms. However, for many reasons we'll dive into shortly, they might just be the worst of the worst. Because it's one thing to upload this disgusting content with the goal of monetary gain. But what's even more worrying and truly vile is owning channels like these than trying to communicate with your audience and lure them off the site. What? Earlier this year, on January 26th, a YouTuber named The Beak uploaded a video showcasing his discovery of a very strange set of channels which impersonate characters from the Amazing Digital Circus, a very popular right. children's animated series on- I heard so many good things about the Amazing Digital Circus, but I have not- I have not seen it. <sighs> I have not seen it? No, 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 no. Yeah. I- I- I don't know where this is going, man. Why would he want YouTube, to be found? Which, for whatever reason, has absolutely taken off and garnered over half a billion views in just the first two full-length episodes. In other words, it's wow. just another example of these channels exploiting familiar and trusted family-friendly characters for views and tricking yeah. children into watching content yeah, sure. that is all but family-friendly. Let's take yeah, a quick yeah. look at what Neil thinks is acceptable to post. Bro. 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 SpongeBob. Bro. Bro. Every single thumbnail, every single video on all of these channels completely violate YouTube's content guidelines. However, this isn't even the weirdest part. In his video, The Beak discovered that both of these channels advertised a link which invited anybody okay. who clicked on it the ability to directly message Neil on Telegram, a messaging platform infamous for- Oh. 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 He wants to be found by the children. Oh. 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 Oh, God. It's overwhelming focus on privacy, with messages sent over there having end-to-end -end encryption and being, for the most part, completely untraceable. Yet, some time after the Beaks video was posted, the owner suddenly removed these Telegram links and changed the contact email for both of the Pomni and Jack's channels. Interesting. Okay. Now, I'm not trying to assume the worst here, but I really can't find a reasonable explanation as to why an owner of multiple channels which make over-sexualized Minecraft content targeted towards very young children would ever need to include a direct messaging feature in their about yeah. me section. And more importantly, why would they feel the need to delete the telegram link almost immediately after being exposed about it? While assumptions can be made, yeah. we may never truly know the answer. I was still pretty curious about this Neil guy though, so I did- Get fortune involved? Actually, man. 
Get fortune on the case. Actually, get fortune Bit on the case. Around. Eventually, I had the idea to paste the channel's original email address into the YouTube search bar, which brought me to a whole bunch more of these channels that he owned. F more again. Yeah, using the F more name again. Mickey Minecraft. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Impersonating even more YouTubers like Afmao and Mizen. Then I decided to try the same tactic with this new email and found yet another impersonation channel he owned which contains another sketchy link. This time leading to a Kofi Kofi. page that sells NSFW content of their characters which, of course, comes with another direct messaging You will add you to the game and allocate you a room at the Haspen Hotel. Exclusive content, 18 plus content. You can offer your ideas for videos based on the best ones. We will. Funny stories from Husked Angel Dust. Publication of Angel Dust Likes. And. Excuse me, what? Endless Love Charlie. Then some Russian shit. For 10 Doloritos. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck? Feature. And just to confirm that despite all the changes, these channels are still owned by the same person. They both use the exact same AI text-to-speech voices and music in their videos. Dennis. Pomni, please lather up with the washcloth and also this part of my back. Okay, Jax, but you're already very clean. You have no oh, idea how long I've been waiting for this. Jump onto my bed and strip off all your clothes. The thumbnails all have the exact same very specific art style, as if, you know, they were commissioned by the same artist. The titles are all very similar, often using the same set of keywords across all channels, like what is he planning and what is he up to. Also, all of the channels were created roughly around the same time in mid to late 2023. It's a common theme for all of these YouTube automation people and content farms to start all of their channels at once, and that's exactly what happened here with the Jack- Oh my god, man. The music's popping the air, man. <laughs> Grab the torches. Let's start a riot. Can we get some riots in the chat, man? Actually, fucking uh, the people riots. Like, holy shit, man. Actual manhunt. Like, I don't come down harassment, but, but. Oh my god and Hasman Hotel channel even being created on the same day. And most importantly, the NSFW Kofi page has perks listed in Russian writing. Yeah, what does it mean? Which just so happens to be the exact same language Neil's what does it mean? name is displayed on his old Telegram link. Okay, but I need to know what to they mean. Kofi like, page. Chat, anyone here knows Cyrillic? I, I need to know. I need to know what the frick this means. Can I take a screenshot and put pictures in? In me, not you. I, I know that I can do it on phone. I don't know if I can do it on PC. Alana, she watches. Oh my god, Alana, actually. Alana would be able to read it. Ex uh, it says exclusive content is the first line. Okay, what's the second one? What's the second one? I don't condone harassment, but I deny the fact that child predators are human. You know what? That's a good point. <laughs> That's a really good point. Ugh. So really, let's not insult Russian Slavs. You, uh, yeah, fair, 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 fair. Sorry, my bad. Exclusive questions. All right. All right. Exclusive content and exclusive questions. Got it. has perks listed in Russian writing, which just so happens to be the exact same language Neil's real first name is displayed on his old Telegram link. Hey, Slendy. imitation channels, wildly obscene thumbnails, abhorrent YouTube shorts. <laughs> Bro, this is so cursed, man. Like, oh my god, the face. <laughs> like, round at... You can't make round shit in, in Minecraft, bro. Stop. Oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop. Where are my square titties at? 
YouTube Shorts. Weird content farm owners that advertise NSFW Patreons in direct messages. I don't know if you guys were able to hear that, but my um, stomach just <laughs> grumbled. <laughs> I think my MC corn at least had squares. True! ...features, the long repeated negligence of YouTube, and the result of it all, the potential danger and long lasting mental health issues of millions of children around the world. This... Isn't Angel just some sort of drug? I don't know, is it? Wait, that you? I thought it was me. <laughs> Is the Minecraft Kids content rabbit hole? It Yet is. One All right. unanswered question remains. What does that? Oh, doesn't that stand for cocaine? Isn't that what Andrew does this? Or is it something else? Oh, it's something else. Okay. Andrew does this a carrot and has been and also coke. Okay, okay, so, okay, and she just shares the name for some reason then. Got it. ...game of this issue look like? Will it ever reach a boiling point? Will YouTube ever step in? And how do we fix this? Advertisers. Well, I think either A, that uh, too many of the people making the videos will end up getting falsely flagged or demonetized, and then they just stop making the videos because they can't make money from it anymore. Or B, it somehow gets like significant media attention to the point where they actually decide to take action. Because I feel like right now, no, no one really yeah. knows- Yeah, yeah, YouTube will not take action unless the advertisers pull out. Until the advertisers pull out, YouTube will not take action. Money, man. Money. ...about this stuff or really cares, right? You never hear about it. Oh, Fortune gets on the case, yeah. I don't think anything's really gonna change because I, don't, I feel like they don't have any reason to change anything, right? And there it is. YouTube, yeah. at this current moment, throwing all yeah. morals and ethics aside, has they no don't care. reason Money. to change or fix this issue. Not exactly the resolution you and I were probably hoping for, but unfortunately, it's the honest truth. If you're somehow a parent or sibling of someone who might be at risk of this content, my best advice would be to simply monitor what they're watching online. And if that's too hard, just delete the app entirely and let them watch like Arthur or something. I don't know. And lastly, yeah. Yeah. thank you for watching. I don't know, put Netflix kids on. Like you can like monitor, you can like put on Netflix kids what your children should watch. If you really want them to watch something and be distracted, Put them on Netflix, man. We'll put them on uh, YouTube. There's a five, uh, five minute follow up video. There is. Yeah, YouTube addresses Minecraft kids content. Oh, let's go. Three weeks what ago. Let's watch it right away. Weeks ago, I posted a documentary on the infinite danger of Minecraft kids content. Yeah, we YouTube, just watched an it. An issue which I honestly thought at the time was a lost cause. Since then, so much has happened, which has unexpectedly given me a glimmer of hope across the hey! whole situation. The good Today, ending? We're going to be going over everything that happened after the video, from its unexpected success to other changes that have happened, and even YouTube's official response. Yo! So, let's start with the obvious. 1.4 million views in just two weeks. That How much should it insane. have now? I don't know. I'll never be able to put my full gratitude into words. The feeling of having something you've worked on relentlessly, day in and day out, for over two months. D Bro, that video was so well done, though. The video? So freaking well done. Actually well done. Good research. Raised good points. Amazing video. Straight payoff in such a way like this is truly incredible and all I can really say is thank you. Thank you guys so much for your unending support on the videos and this channel. You guys made this happen and you guys are the reason for everything I'm about to talk about in this video. Which by the way, if you haven't already, then please subscribe. It literally <laughs> took me two whole months and hundreds of hours of work to make my last video. So if you could drop a sub, then that would be greatly yeah, appreciated. Sub to him. Anyways. My favorite part of the aftermath has to be watching the reactions of all of the Twitch streamers watching the oh, video. Oh shit, there we, we go. <laughs> oh, all of the Twitch streamers. Uh, hey, who would have thought? <laughs> A Twitch streamer, hey. Yo! What the? the girl's house. Take off the... Uh, mutilation? 
Bro. We just tied you to the bed. Just don't. Yeah. Yo, y'all boys be sick. You gotta be sick in the head. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta, gotta be sick in the head to sit here and just do this. Bro, these channels yep. are basically making people salary in a month. YouTube, we gotta step it up, bro. We gotta step it up, man. As well as seeing other YouTubers speaking up about this topic and making their own videos as a result of ours, it really is amazing to see this massive issue finally get at least a portion of the awareness it deserves. Good, yeah, good. The only way good. I think YouTube will actually end up making a change against Minecraft kids content is if enough people bring attention to it, whether yep. that be through yep. news yep. articles, yep. 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 other people making videos, etc. Obviously, I have no idea how to contact a major news network, but if you do, or simply want to make a video of your own, feel free to use my videos or any of the sources I've used and linked in the description for assistance. Speaking of awareness, let's discuss what is by far the biggest new piece of information in relation to this issue, which let's is go. that for the first time since this whole Minecraft kids content problem started being talked about- Asman also reacted to it? Uh, yeah, I think he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that also definitely gave it huge exposure. But YouTube actually responded in a completely unexpected fashion around three days after my video being posted. They commented? The official what? What? No way! The YouTube creator's account left a comment saying, Really appreciate you flagging this. Our teams are taking a close look now, and we'll take it from here. We take reports like this very seriously, so thank you again for taking the time to help keep our community safe. Wow! And to be honest, I had some mixed feelings about this post. While it's amazing that YouTube has finally publicly acknowledged this issue, instead of just doing what they always do and demonetizing the video, this comment, at least to me, really just reads as a hollow statement with little to no actual substance behind it. And that's exactly what a handful of people also said after I posted the comment to Twitter, which, uh, by the way, <laughs> you know, go follow me over there, please. Given the recentness of this comment and the fact that it's structured exactly how, like, YouTube support speaks on Twitter all the time, in fact, you can actually find this exact- You know what? You know what? That is true, though. That is- that is a good point. They do speak like this. They do speak like this on Twitter, so that's a good point. Sentence, we really appreciate you flagging this. We take reports like this very seriously, yada, yada, yada. Copy pasted on like a bunch yeah, okay. of tweets over the years. Like, dude, look at how many there are. All right, all right, all right. It seemed like they got their cases resolved. But to be fair, I've never seen them comment on the YouTube video ever before. Never. So that, that still is a bit, that's still different. 100% a bot? I don't know. I don't know. I've, if it was a bot, have you guys ever seen? YouTube creators themselves comment on something. They might have just copy pasted it, but maybe there's something behind it still, you know? I did on shots with no interesting tag. Really? Really? I've n I never. It really is hard to tell whether anything will actually change. Maybe there is somebody at YouTube who saw this with your genuine thumbs, really? concern for All the right. future of both right, YouTube then. kids and the platform. Or maybe it's just a generic comment left to create the illusion that YouTube is actually doing something in efforts to sweep this mm. whole thing under the rug once again. As of today, every one of the channels I've mentioned They're remains still monetized. fully up and Fuck. monetized, continuing to make That's money bad. off of the disgusting content they post. That's However, bad. while all of the channels still exist, in a recent discovery, I found out that some of these channels I mentioned, more specifically the 11.3 channel and the Alex and Steve animation channel, would go on to completely delete all of the content on their channel, or at the very least, all of the ones with suggestive Minecraft thumbnails. Whether or not mm. these two things are related, I thought it was pretty cool to know they probably caught wind of the video. They probably did ca uh, catch wind of the video and are uh, like going into quote unquote hiding, like hiding it right, uh, hiding uh, the obvious away. Padding mode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm off. Have a good one. See you, Vicious. Thank you for hanging out. And again, it has only been two weeks, so take all of this info with a grain of salt. For all we know, this statement from YouTube could mean that they're working on this issue day and night, trying to get rid of it right now. Or it could result in the most likely outcome, which is they do absolutely nothing about the situation. But hey, they still responded, and at the very least, that is still one step forward. That is true. It's one step yeah, forward. That's about all the updates I have for today. Please subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Dude. Don't let up, yeah. I'm gonna keep at it. And I'm telling you, contact the advertisers. Contact the advertisers about this. 
Here's the original video chat. Amazing video. Amazing video. Bye YouTube. Bye YouTube. Bye YouTube. Thanks for watching. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. This is gonna be one of my longest videos too. Holy shit. This shit's important though, man. This shit's important. Save the children! Don't let your kids on social media! Don't let them watch freaking YouTube Kids or YouTube. Put them on Netflix. W let them watch Disney movies. Yep. Yeah, that, that's about it. See ya!